Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we're going to configure PPOE with VLAN on the GLIX1800, the Fling router. And then we're going to try Lucy as well as the SQM QoS application. And let's see how is the performance of the router. If you are looking for the VPN performance and not performing with the default stock firmware, you can check out my videos on the notification or you can find the link in the video description. This guide can also be applied for all the GLI net router, such as the Barrel GLMT1300. So let's just do that. This is the initial setup of the GLIX1800 and currently I'm connected to the router with Ethernet cable. So as you can see, we have the connection up and running, but there is no internet. Alright, so the first thing, we are going to open the browsers and go to 192.168.8.1 and then you can select your language. And after that, we are going to set a root password. Alright, so that's it. And then hit submit. So on the first star, we will be asked to configure Wi-Fi. Alright, so I'm going to do GL's AX1800 and the key will be my password. Alright, that's it. Let's hit OK. This is the one configuration. It is show up right here and currently the protocol is DHCP. I'm going to use PPoE, so I'm going to click on the drop down button and then select PPoE. Alright, so I will need to input my username and password. So I have just input my username and password. And now I'm going to click apply. I'm sure that the PPoE connection will not be up and running because I have yet to configure VLAN. So there are two ways we can do that. One way is we need to install Lucy with a working internet connection and then configure the VLAN with Lucy or else we can establish the added edge connection to the routers and add the VLAN there. So for this video, I'm going to use Putty to establish the added edge connection. So the host name will be 192.168.a.1 and the port is 22. All right, so hit open, accept. The login will be root and the password is the password you have just set now. And we're in the com line interface of the GLIX1800. Besides booty, you can use the common prod, this one to establish the edit a connection or you can use all the tune as long as you prefer it, all right? So now we are going to modify the network configuration file. So let me type in V, stand for V editor, slash etc, slash config, and then slash network. All right, and hit enter. So right now we are on the command mode. So you see that we have a minus key, but when I press the I key, it changed to I. So we are in the insert mode. Let's go down to the one interface and right here and you can see the IF name or the interface name is Ethernet 0. However, I am running the PPOE on VLAN 35. So I'm going to add dot .35. Normally, if you are running PPOE for your one interface, the PPOE package will create a virtual IPv6 connection and in this case, you can just go ahead and delete the one sig configuration. So it will end up something like this. All right, so make sure you specify the correct VLAN right here and it is tagged. All right, so if you're using a different VLAN, for example, VLAN 11, if you're using VNPT in Vietnam or VLAN 500, if you're using Unify in Malaysia, then you will need to input the number right here. So the password right here, after you input your password in the browsers, it will be stored somewhere here. So PBOE password. And 
after you input your username and password correctly and the VLAN number, then you can press the ESC keys on your keyboard and now it change back to the command mode. After that, press the colon, then right and quick and hit enter. So that's it. So after we have modified the network configuration file for the newer version of OpenWRT, we can run service network restart, but it doesn't work in OpenWRT 15. So I'm going to reboot the router. And then we can try to ping the router to see if it up and running. All right. We can see that the router is up and running and we have the response from the router. So let me stop the ping and let refresh the connection root and then password. All right. So let's run IAP config and let's see if the PPV1 is up and running. And yes, it is up and running. So let's have a check here and we have the VLAN 35 created right here. All right, that is good. Now let's do a quick test. So let me run htop of htop not found. So let's hit top and then open the speed test application and let's go. Not bad, so I'm having around 300 Mbps with the CPU at 97% idle. This is a really good result. Um, actually, I'm using a 200 Mbps internet plan, so the result should be around 200 Mbps, but uh, the 300 Mbps is unexpected. So now let's log in back to the router. And then let's try to install Lucy. So first of all, let's go to the application tab right here and then go to plugins. So before proceed with any kind of installation, we need to click on the update button, just like you are updating the package with Lucy. All right, so let's search for Lucy and install it. Status installed successfully. That is good. So now we can go to the more settings and then go to advanced and right here we can refresh the page and it should show lucy all right please don't lucy before you can continue actually i already installed that what's wrong here so i think we are still missing some package so we can try to reinstall lucy from here all right that's good so now we can click on the link to go to lucy and let's just log in as usual and you can see the host name the model the openwrt forward versions and the kernel versions even though we are using openwrt 15 but the lucy is still a newer version so we can see that it's very similar to OpenWRT 19 or even 21.02. So let's go to network interfaces and they have a tool right here. All right, so one six unsupported prototype. So we have the one interface, we have the interface up and running. And then we can see that on the physical setting, it connected to 
this VLAN 35. So just in case you want to configure VLAN with Lucy on OpenWRT 15, then all you need to do is go to this vehicle settings and then hit custom interface and then type in, for example, Ethernet 0 0.500 for VLAN 500. But I'm not going to commit the chain, so I go back to this one and then make sure the firewall is assigned to the one zone. Advanced setting, it can be blank and then yes. So this is it. It's very simple. So for the network, Wi-Fi or wireless, we have our LSID up and running. So currently it is of yes, but no device connected. All right, so on the network switch, there's nothing because the VLAN function is not enabled on this version. Now we are running PBOEs on the one connections and we're using the stock SQMQS package. So you can see from here, if we search for QoS, we have the GLQoS internal installed. And then if the SQM, no, there is no SQM. So we just have the QoS internal package installed and let's test out the performance of this. So the first test, it will be a buffer blood test. So let's go. Let me open the terminal so that we can see the throughput. So I believe with this result, it should be a rate. And yes, we receive a rate, but for blood test. So now let's test out another thing. So let me minimize this one. And I'm going to open the common prod. Let's paint a.a.a-t. So the response time is 26, right? So let me run the speed test. And let's see if the ping goes up and we see that it's only go up one time it's go to uh, somewhere 36 ms and then it went back to the normal ping response which is 26 or 27 All right, so that's good. So we can see that the minimum is 26, maximum is 36, just one time and the average is 26. So now we are going to run the same ping and then we're going to download the torrent. So let's start and then let's start. So I'm downloading open to 21 and then Raspberry Pi OS at the same time. So very fast, the connection go to 26 megabyte per second and we have a lot of active connection right here. But from this side, we can see that the ping remains stable at 26 or 27 MX. This is something really good. Uh, all right, so let's just go on up and down. So we can see that we are now downloading at 22 megabyte per second, but the ping remains stable. All right, let me just stop and let's just pull this one. So the minimum is 25, maximum is 33, and average is 26. We can see that it only go up to 33 MX for one time. And then it go back to the normal response time which is really good. Right now I'm playing League of Legends and we can see that the ping is 10 ms. So let's start the torrent download things and let's see if the pings increase. Alright, so 
tent and then it stay there. We can see that with torrent downloading in the background, we still having 10 MX in the ping and is very stable ping and stable connection. Alright, so this is good. So we can verify we are downloading two torrents and they have a lot of active connection. So we can see the same on Piemont. We are having around 12. 18 megabyte per second but the ping remains stable so with this result we can confirm that the stock sqm qs configuration from gl.inet on the goax1800 router is doing a good job keeping our ping stable when we are so i hope that this video will be useful for you when you want to search for some information about the performance of these routers or at least some tests before purchasing it thanks for watching and see you all in the next video bye bye